Hey everyone, 8Bishop here. Um, I figured it'd be a good idea to do a deck overview of the Odin deck. Uh, this would be like the most prominent deck you face when you first start the game, assuming the buckets of cards don't get changed before the game goes like full public. Um, there are a couple exceptions, like Iceman probably wouldn't be in the deck. You're more likely to see an Elektra or an Ant-Man, um, or a Hawkeye even sometimes. Um, Scorpion may or may not make the list, but for the most part, this would be a very similar list to what you're going to see. Um, you're just playing a bunch of stuff that do things on reveal and then hoping to double them with Odin. Um, you've seen some of these in my other decks, like Okoye plus Mr. Sinister. Um, Ironheart can get set off multiple times. Uh, Spider Woman can get set off multiple times, decreasing your opponent's stats. Same thing's technically true for Scorpion, though you're really only going to get its effect once because the second time it goes off, the game's over, unless uh, Limbo's in, uh, in effect. Uh, Wolfsbane can just get super big, which is one of the reasons we play Nightcrawler, because we can get Wolfsbane fully stacked and move the Nightcrawler out of the way, uh, that kind of thing. So we're going to go ahead and just play a few with this deck. This was the deck I climbed with when I first started. This is the deck a lot of people climb with when they first start. Uh, you just get a lot of the cards given to you, and... Um, it's a pretty solid deck, but you do have to telegraph what you're doing, so if your opponent wants to counterplay it, it's not the hardest thing in the world to counterplay. Uh, I think it may be a little bit better again now, because so many people are playing to stop Nova. So I think there's a little bit of merit that there's going to be less counterplay against this deck at the moment. Though, um, Cosmo is very good against uh, this deck and against Nova, because stopping on reveal effects... We'll stop all the activators for um, for Nova, and it will stop this entire deck's theme. It's a little unfortunate we hit the Sinister when we did, because we were just about to boost our whole deck, but it is what it is. Um, there's a few different ways of going about this. I think what we'll do is actually just throw this here. Next turn we'll do Nightcrawler and Wolfsbane there, and then the Nightcrawler can still move somewhere else. Oh, unless they make me miss. Okay, they didn't make me miss. Cool, we hit four cards. That's not bad. We're going to be extremely strong here where the, that wolf spain is now. Um, I think we probably actually just made use of this. Give ourselves fight in a few different spots. Odin can back up the Medusa or the wolf spain, depending on where we think we need stats. Yep, you got it. Get that Nova combo out of the way. That was a weird decision. I'm pretty sure... <clears throat> I was debating on the play between like tying with the, the Nightcrawler or supporting the Medusa and playing the Odin here. I had a lot of ways to play that though. It was interesting. Now mind you, I, I do have Jubilee and I could play Jubilee in this deck. I think that this version of the Unreal Real deck where it's playing a little bit more of a fair curve doesn't want to play Jubilee because while you can get like a double Odin trigger, a lot of the time it's just not going to be worth uh, the resources you're spending. Um, there's a chance that I Scarlet Witch that X-Mansion. I have lost more games than I've won to X-Mansion just scamming me on luck. 
We'll see, though. That's a murder world. I could get early tempo set up on murder world, too. I'll set up the Koye here, because even if I decide not to do the early tempo setup on murder world, um, just losing one point isn't the end of the world, so I don't mind just making that a throwaway slot. One of the issues you can sometimes have with this deck is running out of space uh, for your combos. Because this is a little bit more of a flexible play. And we don't actually have much better to do this turn, because both of these won't get their full effects. Yeah, let's just do it. Gross. Don't hit my white tiger. Dang it. Okay, well, that just made this game real rough. You can see why I say Iceman's so strong. Ooh, we got another Iron Heart, though. Okay. I'm thinking. That and that. And then the next turn we throw our Odin right there. We should have two pretty big things going on. Oh wait, that wasn't in turn five. I shouldn't have moved that Nightcrawler yet, I don't think, then. Whoops. Um... I think I'm feeling confident in this being big enough. So I'm going to add a lot to it. Let's back up this space. There is a chance they're doing some like Odin setup right here, which would be kind of funny to scan me back. But it's 50 50 who goes first because we're both controlling one territory. Well, that's a way of beating me in the spot. Oh, I didn't even do my math right. Crap. If I'd done my math right, I probably would have played that differently too. Because I could have had Scorpion there. Whoops. That's all I get for not actually like adding out loud and stuff. I'm just kind of guesstimating. Hey, that white hagger also really, really hurt my curve. Uh, it's one of the many reasons Iceman is as good as it is, because there are plenty of decks out there that want to do a like a one-two combo, and even things like Nova. You you hit a Nova with an Iceman, and now they can't play as many things in one turn. Um, or even better, you hit an Activator with Iceman. Give them a really awkward curve where they have a three mana carnage or a four mana um, deadlock. It can go a pretty long way. Cool, that's pretty much a garbage space for us then. We'll just assume that Shadowland is our losing space. Um, I'm pretty okay with something like this, I think. I don't anticipate wanting to use very many spaces in Atlantis, but I know I'm going to have more than one um, unit there, so might as well just do the Sinister now. Baxter building, okay. Spiderwoman's great on Baxter building. I think I'm actually what ready to snap now. Because this is Spider Woman into a white tiger into an Odin. OK. 
Okay. Is there a world where I would rather do this? There might be. I think we still do this for now. We we want we want the white tiger's tiger to go to Atlantis. Did not go to Atlantis. That's unfortunate. So we can add seven ten to here, which would win us the Baxter building. We had six to here, which would actually put us ahead now technically. Yeah, we're we're gonna do it like that. We're actually contesting every space because of the Baxter building stats. They're playing around in Odin. They aren't playing around in this, I don't think. Because we're actually going to be up here, too, because we're going to get three points from Baxter Building, and then we're going to get six points from this. We're going to be up by two in the middle. We're going to be up by a little bit on Baxter Building, which they are unlikely to be able to buff without moving their Nightcrawlers around. And then we're to hide here? Plus the Baxter Building, so we technically have a three-point lead. And I think those Nightcrawlers can still move, which is a little bit of a problem. Yeah. Let's see if it's enough. It's not right. Nope. Okay. They got it. If I'd done Odin instead, I don't think I would have won, though. Because I would have gained less power here. And then they would have lost three ish, because they moved first, right? They would have lost three, 14. I guess if I'd done Odin here, and if the tiger had gone to Atlantis, I still had a chance. But it is very specific. I think the way I played it was still the the safer odds. As you can see, the deck is, is pretty easy to play around, um, and Nova is clearly a better deck. But I wanted to show you this deck because um, I wanted you to see the, its play patterns mostly, because you will be playing against this deck a lot before Nova is a thing you'll have to be dealing with. We actually really don't like Mindscape. It's one of the reasons we play Scarlet Witch. Because this deck really doesn't like having its um its last turn taken away because Odin is such a big play for the deck. I'm very happy they played the Cosmo there. I don't mind if a Koye gets missed, so... We'll do it in that order. Yeah, dude, you can take that spot. I don't care about that spot. Have at it. Let's go ahead and snap. If a tiger goes here, we're feeling really, really confident. Okay, yeah, we're good. Oh, we're very good. 
they're probably going to play a 20 power unit here. We only have to have Ironheart hit one of our units, though. Yeah, that's why they skipped something last turn, so they play a 20 power unit now. Oh, wait. We're fine anyway, because it's 21. Yeah, never mind. We're good. There's no reason they'd skip their 5 unless they have the, uh, that 20 power unit. Oh, it's a 22 power unit. So, ooh, it's a good thing we got that buff then. Oh, I got buffed by uh, Wakandan Embassy, of course. Yeah, so there you go. That's the Unreveal deck. It's a really simple play pattern. Um, Cosmo is a great counter for that and for um, and for Nova. So it's not a bad counter piece to be playing in your deck if you're just trying to play other stuff for fun in general.